The Lord bless you, dear family. As I came into prayer today, I was seeing a scene from a battlefield, just a lot of, uh, well, the way a battle goes. What's that word I'm looking for? Chaos. A lot of chaos and blood. A lot of people being wounded and hurt. I'm not exactly sure if that relates to what is coming or if it's an allegory for what's the fight that's going on right now to take over or to make for the good guys to win, for the white hats to win. But I did ask the Lord, and he clarified it for me. I said, Lord, is this you in my mind or my own imagination? And he answered, it is me, and it will be a bloody war, not necessarily on your street, but nonetheless bloody. Is this the war that Henry Groover spoke of? Jesus continued, no, it is a precursor, depending on how it goes. Still, there are many forces allied with the Antichrist. However, they've been dealt some decisive blows. They are crippled in many areas. But those who are workers of iniquity are not looking for money, but for vengeance. This war is necessary to wake up America. But the prayers of my people, yeah, they came over last night uh, to accompany Father because he was in travail. And uh, they began to pray, and it was powerful. It was so powerful. It was gut-wrenching, really. And Ezekiel was in intercession last night for our nation. And the Lord uh, spoke to you directly here. He said, Your prayers have pierced my Father's heart in heaven, and we shall protect your loved ones. No one can calculate what these events will accomplish except for one thing. Sleepy-headed prosperity Christians will finally awake. There is a movement now of my spirit to make many secretaries of my love and mercy all over the world. For those with a pure heart that want only my will, for those I am offering them the gifts of knowledge that will help them to inform their little prayer group. The days of boisterous, high-profile prophets are coming to an end. Now, instead, I am looking at the little ones that have been waiting in the wings obediently, doing my will each day without asking for perks or fame, rather holding up against the storm of ridicule. The more accomplished and intelligent middle class tends to dismiss them with and assigns them the title of no account. Yes, these days are coming to an end, the days of the flashy prophets, and I'm raising up my faithful little ones who have no interest in money or being acclaimed and confirmed as great men and women of God. They only want to be my faithful lovers and care little for anything else the world has to offer. And for all of you who don't really understand about the Franciscan lifestyle of voluntary poverty, it's basically just keeping things so simple that you're not encumbered by all kinds of things you have to do to maintain what you have. It's just a stripped-down lifestyle. Well, and that stripped-down lifestyle enables us to spend more time with the Lord and get less entangled in worldly affairs. And how I managed to fail at that, I will never know. <laughs> but I do have a problem there that I'm still working on. It's getting better, but it's there. Okay, so the Lord continued, I want you to bring them forth, Claire, and arm them for combat. Yes, binding prayers, but most importantly, meekness and humility, so that my angels will rush to their aid in difficult times. My angels search the world for the meek and humble of heart, because they delight in foiling their many enemies, who also see them as of no account or value. These I will exalt, because their only concern is my heart, and how they can make me happy. 
and make me smile. Yes, I love that rainbow card you made. You make me smile. And that's the title of this message. Because isn't it our heart's desire to make the Lord smile, to make him happy? I know it is for me. And then the Lord continued and he said, How do you make me smile, little ones? Sitting quietly with me and perhaps kissing the monstrance and holding me close to your heart? Staying little? Oh, by the way, a monstrance is the place that we keep the Blessed Sacrament, the true presence of Christ. Staying little and out of the ego battles over who said what, when, and who is right? Littleness, littleness, littleness of no account, void of any opinion until I open their mouth. Those who take the time to look after the needs of those around them, who are incapable of caring for themselves, also make me smile. Those who rush to the defense of the helpless and refuse to gossip or backbite, they make me smile but especially those who value their hours of time spent with me more than busy work that surrounds them. They have a fence around their hearts and time. It stops the onslaught of must-dos that others jump to run and complete. They honor my desire for them to sit with me and sincerely adore me. And many times, they are the very littlest ones even the homeless, who have long ago left the world to be with me. What a great treasure they are, even with all their problems. They have recognized the futility of the world and left its passing priorities behind them, just for me. Well, my love, I want you to know this. I am raising up the army of little ones who have no time for the world just time for me. Speaking of which, it is imperative that you get your messages up every day. I want to prepare them day by day, and these long periods of silence defeat my purpose. Please, every day, fresh manna, no excuses, no other projects. First, I am giving you a very serious mandate. Do not be tardy with my words to the world. In doing this, I cannot instruct and prepare hearts as I need to. Little ones, this is your time. You have watched carefully the apostasy in my church and my body and have refused to follow it. Now is the time for you to be nourished on my words to you, even as this vessel is nourished and shares it with the world. Be faithful to your visions and words, because I will speak to the world through you. Keep your heart free from any sense of self-importance. When others begin to follow you, I will be with you to help you discern. Ask my mother to help you. I bless you now and hand over the scepter of my wisdom to all of you who are called to minister and are willing to be raised up to minister to others even the way this channel has ministered to you. I will bless and keep you and prove you in discernment. Have no fear. That was the end of his message.